Okay, good morning, India. Good morning. Good morning, Mumbai. Good morning. You look so tired, everyone. <laughs> I want to see the hands of people who are who speaks English. Show me. Speaks English. Ah, some of you very slow response. You're not sure if you speak English, huh? Lack of energy, maybe lack of bee pollen. <laughs> so anyone here uh, who doesn't speak English, show me hands. No, doesn't speak English. You're gonna have nosebleed if you don't speak English because I'll do this seminar in English. Nay Hindi. Nay. Okay, so good morning. I'm so happy to be back. Uh, but I wanna see again the hands of people who are here for the first time. Show me hands. Those who are here for the first time. Those who are invited by your friends, your relatives, come on, show me hands. Don't be shy. Okay, let's so welcome them with a huge round of applause. Come on. <laughs> Much louder so that they will come back. Okay. Okay, I want to see the hands of people who were invited by force. Show me hands. Those who were forced to come. Anyone? No one. <laughs> okay, so congratulations. You come here voluntarily. And I'm so happy for you to be here. I'm so glad to be back after, believe it or not, one year. The last time I was here was uh, the 24th of, December, of November in 2011. And I believe I spoke here before I left. But uh, so again, I want to see the hands of people who just saw me for the first time. Just like now. Just like right now. Okay, more than half of the room. Yes. So I'm more handsome in person than in the picture, right? <laughs> you agree with me? You agree with me? Yes. You have to agree because I'm the speaker. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. So uh, this day is very special for me because uh, I have just renewed my uh, acquaintances, my good old friends like Simon, Josh, thank you very much for that uh, very generous introduction. Uh, Kamlesh and uh, Vikram and of course uh, the lovely Renuka as ever right there so these are uh, some of the managers that uh, I have been doing the business with for a long long time believe it or not since forever living started in India I was one of those brave souls from another country thousands of miles away to come to India to start forever <coughs> believe it or not I've been in this business <laughs> thank you I had, I was one of those who started, those uh, people from other country who came to India in the year 2000 to start forever. And I'm going to show you a video of how forever living changed not only my life, but the life of my family and my loved ones. I just heard most of you, I just saw the response of most of you that you want to be motivated, you want your life to be changed. You want to have a happier and fulfilling life? Well, this is the time for you to start all over again. It's not yet too late, but it's just the perfect time. Believe it or not, your being here today is not an accident. It is your destiny. Because you never imagined, maybe some of you never imagined you being here today, at this very hour, that you're going to meet someone like me from another country, but who looks like an Indian also. Right? Especially if you are from northeast of India, if you come from Shillong, then our features are the same. Anyone here from Shillong? No one. I was in Shillong in the year 2000, earlier than maybe about 2002 or 2001. And uh, they speak to me in Kasi. They thought I was a Kasi. <laughs> because I look like one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have a lot of very interesting and inspiring stories to share with you especially about FLP India if you're doing it only now it's never too late it's your perfect time it is your destiny to be here to start the business afresh can you say this with me it's my destiny, it's my destiny. 20 people only <laughs> say this with me all together it's my destiny, it's my destiny. make it better uh, point your finger at yourself it's my destiny Come on, do it. It's my destiny. It's my destiny. Say it with conviction. It's my destiny. It's my destiny. Tell the person beside you, it's your destiny. It's your destiny. The other side, it's your destiny. It's your destiny. 
Tell the person beside you, wake up. Wake up. There you go. <laughs> okay, so uh, as I was saying, when I started in India, I was met with a lot of negatives. I was met with a lot of like people telling me, you will never do well in India. You may be in different countries, but here in India, we almost have everything. Medicine is very cheap, and we have alternative medicine like Ayurvedic medicine. We have homeopathic medicine. You will never become successful here. I just responded with a very wide smile. And I said, it's okay. I just want to enjoy the place. I just want to experience the culture of India. <laughs> and true enough, I had an awesome experience for the first 10 days without even clean nine. In the year 2000, in eight days, in 10 days, I lost eight pounds. <laughs> because everything you eat here is spicy. You know, and uh, I had difficulty in adjusting. On the ninth day, I was in church gate and I saw a very nice, uh, you know, uh, like uh, there's a post, there, there, there's a, a nice display there, like this, McDonald's. And I said, I want to go to McDonald's. I am sure at least I'll have a bite of the burger, only to find out that the burger is also spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, if you're in India, do what the Indians do. Just like in Rome, do what the Romans do. So slowly I started eating small chili, you know, with my friends. And pretty soon, I become an Indian, you know? <laughs> I eat chicken biryani, chapati, rumale roti. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I had fun, and I'm still having fun. And this very special day for me also, simply because I just found my long lost downline. Non-manager downline, can you imagine after I've been here for the last 12 years and finally by destiny again I found him. And I'd like to recognize him with some of his downline and I'm sure he's going to be one of my managers here very soon. Can you please stand up and be recognized, Mr. Sushil? Right there. Show your face to them. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So you see, in this kind of business, you're never too late. Maybe you signed up many years ago and you took FLP for granted, you can always come back. Maybe you're just here for the first time, believe me when I say, it is your destiny. And you can start your success journey in forever, even today. You are not late, nobody's late. And I heard also Roel, my good friend Roel here, he says that people here needs motivation. People here wants to be motivated. Now let me tell you about my secret. I learned in the past 20 years, because I've been doing forever for the last 20 years, believe it or not. I learned that, mot that you can only be inspired by successful people like me. Inspiration, but motivation should come from within. It's not from anyone. It should come from within. I cannot motivate you. It's you yourself who should motivate yourself to do well. Inspiration, you may be inspired. And I will tell you about the difference of inspiration and motivation as I talk about the module that I'm about to explain. The title of my seminar, I don't know if there's a lot of questions at the back of your head, is FLP, the greatest opportunity in the world. And I'm sure if not all of you, most of you in this room today are so excited to know why FLP is the greatest opportunity in the world. And the best way to show to you why it is the greatest opportunity in the world before I even talk about the modules I'm about to discuss, especially for new distributors, I'd like to show you a five-minute video presentation of my 20 years journey in forever. And I am sure you will be inspired. Because if I will go back many, many years ago, I was just like most of you in this room today, who used to live a very ordinary life in a country called the Philippines. Some of you know it as the Philippines, you know? And just to give you an idea of the Philippines, our country is composed of over 7,000 islands. In fact, 7,107 islands. And we have a lot of different languages or dialects. You just hop to another island, it's another dialect. You know? It's maybe about over 
uh, hundreds of dialects. And I live in a small village. By the way, it's 7,107, but when it's low tide, it's 7,112. <laughs> and I live in a small fishing village. My, my father was an ordinary government employee. My mom was a public school teacher. I don't know here in India, but back in the Philippines, the salary of a public school teacher is very, very low. Very, very low. You know, it's substandard. And we were six siblings. We live in a little uh, village where there's no electricity. You know, at six o'clock, everyone sleeps. Either they sleep or they make a baby. You know, it's already no more light, <laughs> no more electricity. And newspaper comes like history three days after. You know, because the travel of the bus will come like every three days. So that's where the diamond started his life. I was born to that kind of environment. And in forever I realized that sometimes your future depends on the people that you are with. Sometimes your dream and aspiration and your excitement depends on the place where you live. Because if you live in a place where people don't have dreams, congratulations, you yourself won't have a dream. If you live in a place where they live a very simple life, then you will also live a simple life. If you're, in a, if you're surrounded with people who never smile or who seldom smile, you yourself will also will not be as someone who smiles. Look at the person beside you now. Try to have a look. See if they are smiling. If they are not, tell them to smile. Okay, it's very important in this business. You have to have fun, you have to enjoy. You know, so as I was growing up, the only thing that I will always remember for many, many years was when my mom said, son, you need to have a dream. And when you have a dream, you must make it big. Because after all, dreams are for free. So you have to make it big. And I always remember that. And the good thing about my mom was that when he realized that there's no future in that little fishing village, my, my mom and my dad made a decision for us to move from a small village to the city where we will be exposed to bigger buildings, you know, we'll be exposed to like different things, the good things in life so that we will have bigger dreams. So the lesson for today is that the first, very first thing before I even show you my presentation is that you have to stay away from people who doesn't have dreams, otherwise you'll get affected. You have to stay away from people who are not excited about life. Otherwise, you too will not become excited. You have to stay away from people who don't believe in the concept or the business of forever. Otherwise, you'll also give up easily. So be careful with the people that you are surrounded with. So when we moved to the city, my perspective immediately changed. But I carried that with me as I was growing up. Growing up I said, I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire. You want to be a millionaire? Yes. Uh, you love to watch the TV show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, show me the hands of people who's watching, or is it still here in? Yeah, who, sh who watches, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Show me hands. Okay, very few. Slumdog Millionaire. Who saw the Slumdog Millionaire? <laughs> okay. Now, you know, sometimes we fantasize because we think that maybe to be a millionaire is just a fantasy, it's a dream. But believe it or not, coming from me, as I've said, I used to live in a village with a dream of becoming a millionaire. I dream of becoming wealthy because I know how it is if you're up there. I know how it would be easier for your life to be. I know how your life will be with your family. So young as I was, I was a big dreamer. And I was, as I was growing up, I thought, well, to make money, to have a better life, then I must find a job. And that is exactly what 90% of people around the world do. You know, from elementary to high school to college to the university, you even go to a postgraduate course, you know, and I know uh, one of the cultures of Indians is that you value so much education so that if you, you have MBA, then uh, you make a difference. You're being paid more than those who are undergraduate who even do better work than you. 
the irony of it, you know, I know of some people who does well, but they don't have an MBA degree, and the MBA degree just slips and very lazily sits down his chair and being paid so much. But believe it or not, I also learned through life, in life, that it's not about employment that will make a difference. Be a nonconformist. Do not be with this bandwagon of people who is working for somebody else to make his dreams come true. Now is the time for you to make that bold decision to have a look at the journey of someone like me. Over the years, when I graduated the university, I thought I would focus my life in employment. At 20, I graduated in college, in the university. I had some units in MBA, and I found a job in a bank. At the age of 24, I was one of the youngest top executives in the Philippines as senior vice president of the second biggest savings bank. Thank you for that huge round of applause. Okay. I was 24, I was single, you know, and I felt I was on top of the world. But pretty soon I realized as an employee it's just about glitz and glamour. At the end of the day, you only meet your basic needs, food, clothing, and shelter. You get promoted, you just add the word better. Better food, better clothing, better shelter. But uh, to enjoy the whims and caprices in life, so to speak, like travel abroad, eat in the finest restaurants, buy yourself a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, then uh, you need to save a lot of money, yes? yes? Of course. I should know. I was there. I've done that. I was an employee. And I realized it was not me who realized that employment is not for me. It was my wife who made me realize that employment should not be done on a permanent basis because she got involved 20 years ago. That was 1992, while I was already a bank manager. And I said, go ahead and do it. I'll just support you. I don't think that's for me because I'm a bank manager. You know, I was very proud. I was a bank manager. I was part-time professor in the university, and I was enjoying it. And I said, go ahead and do it. And whatever you, money you make is also mine. <laughs> Conjugal property. You know? Very smart, huh? So I said, go ahead, I support you, I'll drive for you, I'll be in the combo pack. But when you get the volume bonus check, it's us. It's for us. Okay? And when you get to travel to America, bring me with you, it's good for two. Okay? <laughs> Husband and wife. So that's our, you know, that was our arrangement. That's why those of you who are here today, Maybe you're just forced by your wife to come. It's okay. Welcome to forever. You know, that's how I started. <laughs> and I never caught the vision because I refused to catch the vision. Because from elementary to high school to college, we are being brainwashed to be employees. So if you don't find a job here, you go elsewhere, like in Dubai. The most number of expats are from India, especially <laughs> Kerala. The Kerala is very hardworking people. And nice chai also. You know, you go elsewhere, but still you work for somebody else. Not everyone, but most of us. Filipinos and Indians, no, they're the same. No, we go elsewhere to look for a job. So, my wife continued to do it. I continued to pursue my career in banking. And I was, you know, leveling up, climbing up, being promoted almost every year, while my wife was enjoying her business in forever, being her own boss. And I was there being stressed to meet my goals, to meet my uh, deposit and loan portfolio. Anyone here working in the bank? Show me hands. Those here who are working in the bank. No one? Congratulations. You see? <laughs> I will tell you, you cannot just invite people working in the bank because they think they're already done, they're already successful. No, when they count the lakh rupees, you know, the crore rupees, they feel it's theirs, <laughs> but it's not theirs. And they develop asthma, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about myself because I was once a bank manager and along the way I developed asthma counting the money that is not mine. <laughs> you know? So you will find it very difficult to invite people in the bank because they feel so proud. I don't want to do forever. I'm a manager of the bank, <laughs> you know. But if you ask them how much money they're making, they will not tell you. I'm a manager of the bank. How much money do you make? I'm manager of the bank. <laughs> huh? They cannot say because, you know, uh, one of the most underpaid people in the world are bankers. 
It's universal. I should know because I was in the banking industry for 16 years. I was an assistant vice president. I was branch manager of the year in 1996, over 300 branches. Branch manager of the year. You can clap your hands. <laughs> and what did I receive? Block of recognition. No money. <laughs> you can't even eat the pluck of recognition. You can't even feed that to your family. So that's my realization. And over the years, my wife said, okay, you just, uh, just support me. Just allow me to do seminars. Just allow me to attend meetings like this. You know, I said, okay, go ahead. But four years after, believe me, in the first four years, she was averaging one lakh to two lakh rupees a month. That was 92 to 96. <laughs> you think it's a big amount of money? Yes. Yeah, even by Indian standard, it's a big amount of money. It's one lakh to two lakh rupees. Rupees and pesos are almost the same. But unfortunately, you know, uh, rupees has uh, really uh, devaluated so much. Before, uh, US dollars is one is to about 40 for rupees. Philippines, one is to 50. Now it's the other way around. Now here is one is to 53, 54, or 55. Philippines now is one is to 42. So, but they're almost the same. So my wife, my lovely wife, my wife whom I love very, very much, <laughs> was making that kind of money. <laughs> you know, because at the end of the day, every time the volume bonus check will come out, she will give to me the check. I said, this is the check, you manage it. I said, okay. Bank manager. <laughs> so, never imagine myself doing the business because my wife gives the money anyway. And I manage it. But I give her clients, you know. Uh, actually, in fairness to me, while I was a bank manager, I interview my clients. They, they file, they ask for a loan from me. And then I ask it to be approved. When they're approved, I will call them, okay, come for a private meeting with me. How's your business? Said, Very good. What's your wife doing uh, at home? Business minded? Yes. Okay, let her come. Let your wife come and talk to my wife. <laughs> I use my influence, you know? I use my influence. If the wife don't come, I delay the release of the loan. <laughs> Smart, huh? So, what's happened to the loan? You said it's approved. No, I think uh, some, uh, it needs uh, one more signature. Your wife, when is he coming? <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe tomorrow it's done. So he gets the point and I give the com my wife gives the combo pack. Kalas, downline. <laughs> Smart, huh? So that's why my wife recognizes me as partner even if I don't join. But when she talks about aloe vera, I turn my back. I don't want to, you know? The thing that I don't want to join forever before was I thought just like maybe some of you here today, when you do forever, after signing up, you will have to knock at the doors of people and sell shampoo, aloe vera gel, Sonia makeup collection. <laughs> and I said, it is a disgrace to my profession because I'm a bank manager. <laughs> and I have MBA. I don't want to sell at the doors of people. And that is what is in your mind. I know. I know who you are. It's not you, but the person beside you. You know, that's why, because we take, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we are honorable, we're dignified, we don't want to have anything to do with aloe vera, but I enjoy the benefits. You know, that I was, uh, I was a very smart guy. And uh, when it's almost August, like June or July, my wife will always be surprised because she will see me very excited getting the combo pack, driving for her. I have an ulterior motive because I know by August, there's a travel to America. <laughs> if I don't help her, she may bring somebody else. <laughs> so I always support in the last three months. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> okay. Yes. So. You're having fun? You're having fun? Okay. How me continue? Okay. So in 1996, four years after, listen to this, four years after, my wife said with conviction, Honey, I think you should resign now and join my business. And she was very serious when she said that. I said, no, but you know, I'm about to be promoted to the next level again. No, forget <laughs> about promotion. 
you have to join me. And I said, okay, yeah, but uh, I have to make sure that uh, your income is you know, consistent for, the, for uh, the next several years because we have four lovely children. And I said, if your income will drop down and I resign, what will happen to our lovely family? And my wife said, okay, but, but so, so what now? I said, well, if you start making three lakh rupees, I will resign. Because she was making one to two lakh rupees. And that was already very big during that time. Even until now, it's big. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, but I told her, if you make three lakh rupees, I will resign. And that was the biggest mistake that I've ever said. <laughs> She said, okay. <laughs> Six months after, I go home, and uh, she was there waiting for me, very happy. said, honey, welcome home. Now is the time for you to resign. <laughs> and she shows me her volume bonus check. It was, yes. Yeah. It was 306,000 rupees. 3 lakh 6,000 rupees. More than 300,000. So I, when I saw the check, it was a mixed feeling of happiness and sadness. <laughs> I was so happy to see a check for 36000 in the name of my wife because her money is also mine, <laughs> right? But suddenly it dawned on me, I said I will have to bid goodbye to my beloved banking career. <laughs> you know, I'm married to my job. You know, I always say when you invite people, ah, you're always busy, you know, I, I cannot attend the, the forever training, I'm busy. How many companies are you handling? Why are you busy? You know, how much money do you make? Why are you busy? People who say they're busy actually are doing nothing. Maybe watching cricket game or just uh, enjoying their life. <laughs> but anyway, when I saw 360, I said, wow, this is really for real. And I said, uh, but uh, you make it two months because I'm not sure. Maybe next month it may go down. Because, I, because th then I was being promoted to the next level as a, an employee, you know, I, I love my employment. The following month, her check was 320000 So she said, this is a confirmation. I said, make it three months to be sure. You know, I was, ha I was holding on to my profession. I love my profession. You know, it's the recognition, you know, the recognition of people that you're a manager of a bank. You know, and you feel good about it. You know, even if you're a jer, no money. Manager. Jer, no money. <laughs> Money, Jer, but Jer, no money. <laughs> no, I'm a manager. But then, I said on the third month, that was August, Ju June, July, and then August. And then by month of August, uh, we, were, we went to San Francisco. Not because of the bank, but because of forever. Remember? Good for two. Free travel. <laughs> so uh, my wife brought me again. We went to San Francisco, California, enjoyed the super rally, the, the sales convention. We went back to the Philippines in September. 15. So we were there for a month. So I, at the back of my head, I said, as a bank manager, I said, I know her check will go down because she's no longer the, in the Philippines. <laughs> and uh, maybe the salespeople down the line, I don't know downlines, I don't have anything, I don't even understand network marketing. And I said, in traditional business, if you're not there, you won't make a sale. You know what I mean? In traditional business. And we left, we enjoyed San Francisco, we went around, visited our relatives, we went back, and my wife said, you were right, our check is no longer 300,000. No, no more three lakh. I told you, I said, how much? And she showed me her check with a smile. It was three lakh ninety-nine thousand rupees. <laughs> so, listen, three months, she, accum she accumulated a check of one million or about ten lakh rupees, over ten lakh rupees in three months. I was a bank manager and I was only earning seventy thousand rupees. 70,000 every month. I was a bank manager with 70,000 against 300,000. 70,000 as an employee is big, yes or no? Yes. yes. Even here in India, right? Yes. But if you compare 70,000 with 300,000 or 3 lakh rupees, 70,000 is still big. It's a big embarrassment. You know, it was a big embarrassment for me. <laughs> you know, I said I was the right guy in the wrong company. And many people are, in the are, are the right people in the wrong company, which means you work for somebody else. It's time now for you to wake up. So I compare the result with my master's in business administration. You know, I compare the result of someone who was MBA and someone who's doing FLP business. And the result was 10 lakh rupees. Well, I was earning 70,000 in three months time. 70 times only two lakhs. 
Oh, no, no, not two lakhs. Only, how much is that? Yeah, about two lakhs. But it was not two lakhs because in August, I did not receive 70,000. 55 only because there was absence without leave in the bank. So I received little less than two lakh rupees. I said I was the right guy in the wrong company. That's the only time I realized that indeed FLP is the greatest opportunity in the world. And I also realized you want to be successful, you want to live a very fulfilling life, then you should be in the right place at the right time and do something about it. And the right vehicle, find yourself the right vehicle, and the right vehicle is forever. And what can really, if, if you want to really visualize what FLP did to me, try to just imagine me living in a small fishing village, no electricity during the time. Uh, we, well, we eat three times a day, you know, but uh, they have to divide uh, the food no, among the brothers and sisters. Otherwise, the youngest will have nothing to eat. You know, they have to divide. But you know, because of forever, I now live in a completely whole new world. You know, I live the life of the rich and famous. Thank you to forever. <laughs> Thanks God. And thank you to forever. And uh, what could inspire you is a video of my 20 years journey. And always remember this. Your present was my past and my present is your future. The reason why FLP is the greatest opportunity in the world is this five minute video. Have a look. Imagine yourselves being there, right there. Because this is your future and this is forever. Watch my 20 years journey.
So are you inspired now? Yes. That is our meeting finish. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? Yes. Ah, only in front. You want more? Yes. Of course, we're just starting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, you have already seen your future. I want to show you the result in advance so that you will be more focused in listening to how I did it. You know, because at the back of your head, how did that guy from a hometown, a small village became very successful? You know? So that's the first part. I show you the result in advance so that you'll be excited about what will happen to you when you become successful. Have you imagined yourself traveling from one country to another? Yes. Who, who loves to travel? Show me hands. Especially young people, yes. Now we see a lot of people who want to travel. Who loves to travel for free? Show me hands. Now more people, huh? <laughs> That's like Filipinos, you know. You ask them, come on, let's eat. No, I'm full. I'll pay for it. Okay, I come. <laughs> <laughs> so we really, we Filipinos also just like you love to travel, just like uh, Filipinos and Indians have one thing in common. Uh, anywhere you go, you see Indians as well as Filipinos. The only difference is that uh, for every Filipino I see, there are about 1,000 Indians. <laughs> you know, you always outnumber us wherever I go. I have traveled to over 80 countries around the world. Because you have sent the picture, you know, the video. Oh, this is not from thin air. Those are the proofs. And those are just highlights of uh, the travels that I did with my wife and my lovely children. But now, you should be serious enough to listen, focus, and even take down notes so that you will know what a diamond, what does it take to become a diamond? Who wants to be a diamond? Show me hands. Uh, only very few wants to be diamonds. Some very, it takes a long time to register. <laughs> no? Diamond, 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 diamond. Okay. <laughs> That's why uh, dinosaurs died many years ago. Did you know? Dinosaurs, you imagine the dinos? They have very long neck. They became extinct. It's because uh, it took a long time for them to register that there was a huge explosion of the volcano. When there was a huge explosion of the volcano, they said, Everybody run because there was huge explosion. There was hot lava, and the dinosaurs were down there. And before it registered that there's di there's hot lava, they already did because they said explosion and explosion, 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 explosion to the next explosion, explosion. When it's hit their brain, they they're almost dead already. You know, so don't like be dinosaurs. You'll be left behind. You may become extinct. Huh? Who wants to be diamond? Show me heads. There you go, I love that. Did you know that some of you will become diamonds? It's not you, maybe the person beside you. So you have to get to know the person beside you right now. Come on, let's get to know the person beside you if you don't know them. If you know them already, get to know the person at your back or your front. Come on, get to know at least one or two people. Now, right now, don't just look at me. Talk to someone, uh, get to know the person beside you. Come on. Because he may be the next diamond, you will never know. And if he becomes diamond, maybe he will give you some rupees. <laughs> if it's not you, you know what I mean? Be friendly. Be friendly. Okay, now, are you ready with your pen and paper? Show me hands. Show me your pen. Show me your pen. It's now school time, university time. You want to learn in the school of FLP, then you need to have a ball pen. If you don't have a ball pen, then you should have a cell phone that has audio recording. You know, some people are, you know, they don't want to write. So just audio record it. Okay, show me your paper. Where's the paper there? <laughs> okay. Tell the person beside you or your friend, next time you bring ball pen and paper. Come on, tell the person beside you now. They are your friends now. Tell them, tell them, come on. Now, the fir my first topic is back to basics. Back to basics. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, no, you, you may not turn off the light. It's okay. They can see that. Because you may not see me in the video if you turn off the light. I'm not that white. So, okay. Turn on the video. Uh, it's still okay. You can see this, right? Yes? Can you see this? Yes. Ten only answered. Can you see this? Yes. You know, in forever, you want to be successful, you need to respond. Because we don't know if you understand or not. If you don't respond, it's either you don't understand or you understand. But I hope you understand, okay? Now, back to basics. 
I always tell people, you don't need to complicate forever. It's pure and simple. You don't need to be an expert in the computer to be successful. Pure and sim simple simply means you should be easily duplicatable. So if it doesn't, it doesn't follow that if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or an iPad or a, uh, an iPhone, you'll become a diamond. In fact, if you want to be a diamond, I don't even allow you to be high-tech in computers because it's very difficult for you to be duplicated. Okay? So the first lesson for today is be pure and simple. Can you say that with me? Be pure and simple. Say it again. Be pure and simple. Back to basics. So we go back to basics now. The four pillars of success. The four pillars of success is you have to make a decision. In life, you should not allow yourself to be a fence sitter. Some people would normally say, when you become rich, that's the only time that I will join. Or when you become wealthy, give me some money. You know? In life, you want to be successful, you have to make a decision. Say that with me. Make a decision. Make a decision. Tell the person beside you, make a, make a decision. Say it again louder. Make a decision. Make a decision. Yeah. I'm doing this for you not to sleep. <laughs> okay? Because some of you are sleepy already. Make a decision to what? To succeed whatever it takes. You know, you have to make a decision to succeed. Do not find a reason to fail. People don't become successful because they find a reason to fail. I can do forever, you know. It's... I don't talk too much. I'm very shy. I only have two friends. One already died. Uh, you always find a reason to fail. You know, it's so difficult to bring people. They don't want to come because MLM is something that uh, my friends don't like. You know, you always find a reason to fail. This time, change that. Make a decision to succeed. Whatever it takes. If people here in India become successful, your uplines, your managers, your top distributors, how can you not become successful? You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. You eat the same food. You live in the same house. You live in the same environment. You talk with the same people. You speak Hindi. Yes? yes. And some, most of you speak English. How can I become successful in India when I don't even speak Hindi except a few words? Like, aapke shumnam kya hai? Tike? Acha. See? You know, but I'm very successful here. I make lakh rupees in India. You know how much money I make here? <laughs> Who wanna know? How much money I make in India? Show me hands. Very few only, huh? Can you keep a secret? Can you keep a secret? You're not answering me. Can you keep a secret? Yes. Well, I can also keep a secret. <laughs> so make a decision to succeed, whatever it takes. And you have to make a decision. This is something that's very tough, to give up activities that will slow you down. Now, you're doing forever, right? You've started doing forever, maybe a few weeks ago, a few months ago. Maybe some of you just started now. Now, this is my tip to you. If FLP is that important to you, if you got inspired with my video that's going to be your future, then it's time for you to pay the price. The price of success, even in the beginning, means you have to give up activities that will slow you down or things that will slow you down. What does this mean? When you sign up, you want to be successful, you want to be a diamond, you want to even be a manager, you want to earn one lakh rupee. Who wants to earn one lakh rupee every month? Show me hands. One lakh. One lakh. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Anyone? You don't want to make one lakh, two lakhs. Uh, more, more. <laughs> some, some don't want to raise their hands because they want more. But with maybe about five lakh rupees. Who wants to make five lakh rupees in a month? Unbelievable. Ah, Don't forget me when you make that kind of money, okay? Because some people here in India are making already that kind of money. They're making that five lakh rupees. You know? Okay. This is the price to be paid. You can never get what you want in your life if you don't pay the price. What is this? If you join forever, your perspective will be different, your focus will be different. Before you join forever, if you love to watch TV, 
if you love to go uh, watch movie, maybe eat in restaurants, you love to play cricket, you love to dance, if the activities will not produce case credits, then you should give it up temporarily. You know? You cannot be a good dancer or a singer or you watch cricket and make 120 cc. You know what I mean? Yes. Which means that if you make a decision to become successful, you have to give up something that will slow you down. And things that will slow you down, just to give you an idea, are things that will not produce case credits when you're just starting. When you become a diamond like me, it's okay. Because diamond in forever is something that you should always wish for. I will tell you later as we go along. But when you're just starting, you need to give up things that will slow you down. You know what I mean? Okay. Next is you have to make a decision to stay away from negative people and non-believers of forever. And the good news is most of them are your friends and loved ones. <laughs> Can you relate with me? Yes. You know when you join forever, the very first people who will uh, discourage you from doing the business are your loved ones. Who are they? Maybe your husband? Maybe your wife? Maybe your fiancé? Maybe your fiancé? Maybe your set of friends that you go with? They say, you oh, know, it's just a waste of time for you with forever. You'll not enjoy your time with us. You know? So they will steal away your dreams. Negative people are non-believers of forever. Which means when you join forever, you will be a different person. You'll be in a whole new world. You'll be with new set of friends, those who believe in aloe vera and combo pack. You know? If they don't know our language, then set them aside for the moment. But I tell you, in my experience, my friends, my close friends, when I joined forever, I told them, I'm joining forever. If you mock me, if you laugh at me, it's okay. I have already made a decision. But it was my wife who decided for me, right? I have already made a decision with conviction, and I told my friends, if you want to join me, then let's do this together, because I know that I will be very successful. But if you will not join me, I'm sorry I cannot be with you because I used to play golf, I used to play basketball, I used to drink while I was a bank manager. I set it aside because it has no case credits. And I had to sacrifice because I love my friends, you know? I cannot, just, I, I cannot give up my friends. I love them very much. Look, your future is in forever. And how about your fiancé? Doesn't want forever. Change him. <laughs> you know? Your husband doesn't like forever. Do not change. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just uh, like my wife, show the result. You know? Yes. So that I will believe. Do not change your husband. <laughs> All right. Fiancé, you can change. All the time. <laughs> if they don't want to help you. You know, because this is for your future. Look. If he doesn't work with you with forever, you can just imagine what your future will be if you get married. You know? If they just want to have fun, it's, it's not all about fun. You have to have money in your pocket. How can you have fun when you don't have money? You cannot even buy chapati <laughs> or romali roti. You know? <laughs> Maybe the Indian hamburger. What do you call that? Wow. I just ate yesterday. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It used to cost 5 rupees, only now 7 rupees. <laughs> huh? uh, uh, I got it for 7. So it's cheap. Okay, anyway, but it tastes good. Very good. Negative people means your loved ones. You know? But you have to tell them. I told my friends, either you join me or for the moment, I won't be able to play golf with you. And I exactly did that. I stayed away from basketball, I stayed away from golf, I stayed away from drinking. Uh, you know liquor? I started drinking aloe vera. No more <laughs> liquor. <laughs> and my wife was very happy. <laughs> you know? I drank with her toast every morning, aloe vera gel. Okay. What happened? After a few years we meet, and my friends are still the same. Still working in a bank. They have either, you know, receding hairline, uh, whiter, uh, uh, white hair, and bigger face to wash, smaller hair to comb. <laughs> you know, because of stress, you know? 
and most of them are have muscles in the wrong places you know instead of big big here no so big difference when they saw me oh we hate you like crazy i said why you look much younger and handsome you agree you agree yes. of course that is forever <laughs> you know so what happened you know what this is very funny this is what is amusing when i spoke to my friends they said that's a problem with you my friend i said why why did you not force me to join <laughs> you know it uh, now it was my fault and uh, one of my good friend even told me okay uh, here is my uh, savings account just uh, credit the amount of money that you want to give me because you're very successful already <laughs> you know to me these people are losers can you say that with me losers, losers. losers. say that again losers. losers tell the person beside you don't be a loser yeah, tell the person beside you, don't be a loser. Don't be a loser. Yeah, don't be a loser, you know. Stay away from negative people. Now, make a decision to commit to do FLP business seriously. This is what I mean now. Commit. I made an asterisk about commitment. Commitment and interest is different. I will tell you why. Commitment versus interest. When you're interested, you do it only when circumstances permit or when you're excited about it. Now, when you're interested, it's just like, oh, the only Filipino diamond manager is coming. We, we have to see if he's really that handsome. Huh? So you come, you get interested, and when the diamond doesn't come, you don't do forever. And then I come back after one year, the diamond, oh, the handsome diamond is again back. We will do forever again. <laughs> that is just interest. You know, let's go to forever because my fiancé is there. Why are you not coming to forever now? He's no longer there. So you, you know what I mean? It's just interest. Now commitment, when you're committed, is you, you accept no excuses, only results, which means whatever it takes. Which means with or without the fiancé or fiancé, with or without the support of anyone, even with or without the support of your upline, you still do it. One thing that I find amusing is in forever, when you don't become successful, you even blame your upline. That is very sad, <laughs> you know, because if not because of your upline, you would not have been here today. You have to, ev even if your upline is supportive or not, whether you like it or not, you have to love your upline because if not because of him, you would not have been here today. You say this with me, I love your upline. Love say that again, I love your upline. Love if your upline is here, tell him, I love your upline. Love Come on. Come on, open your mouth. How can you become diamonds with you don't even open your mouth? Say that again. I love you upline. Up Say that again. I love you upline. Up okay, there you go. So, you have to be committed. Whatever it takes. Because success at the end of the day depends on you. It's not about the diamond. It's not about the upline. It's not about the top 10 distributors. It's about you. That's what you call commitment. And of course, the most important thing is to never, ever quit. Quitters never win, and winners never quit. You follow me? Yes. You have to never, ever quit. Now, I've been doing the business for 20 years. Trust me. Four years part-time, 16 years full-time. I see people come and go. When you go, that's the end of it. How can you even... Find out if you can become a diamond when you just quit. And believe me, believe me, it's not about how fast you become a manager. It's your staying power. It is your commitment to do forever and become successful whatever it takes. Which means you should never ever give up. Okay, some people join forever. Some became manager in one month. Some became managers in two months. Some three months. Some four months. But it is not a guarantee that if you become manager fast, you will become successful. It is how wide and deep your network is. Now, don't worry and don't be shy when people ask you what's your position and you have been an assuring assistant supervisor for five years. You know, some of you are, been, have, are stuck in AS supervisor for many years. It's okay. It's fine. Because one day, you will find your eagle. One day, you will have a big group if you don't quit. 
I can tell you a lot of examples of people who became successful, but when they started, they started very slow. I have a downline that I signed up back in the Philippines. And the good news is he got stuck, the husband and wife got stuck up for eight years as assistant manager. When most of the people that they, they uh, were with, they started with, are already soaring managers, software managers, you know, profit sharing. They got stuck up as an assistant manager. One day, they, I met them, finally not in the Philippines, but in Dubai. And he, she looked at me and said, Aplan, you still remember me? And I look at her, no, I don't remember you. <laughs> I'm one of your downlines, a 16th generation downline. I want to do this seriously. You're now here in Dubai. So please help me. I said, are you really committed? Are you serious in doing this? I'm going to help you. You know, there's what you call perfect time. You know, your destiny. They were assistant manager for eight months, eight years. In Dubai, I mentored them. I taught them what to do. Three months, they became manager. In seven months, they became senior manager. In three years' time, they became soaring manager. See? They started very slow. It's like the Moso bamboo tree. Do you know the story of Moso bamboo tree? You know, Moso bamboo tree is a type of, 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 of uh, bamboo that when you water it, uh, nothing comes out after five years only. For five years, you'll be watering something, and your neighbors will think you're crazy. Now you're watering the ground, and you talk to the ground. Ah, you will grow. Ah, okay, nice. And uh, your neighbor will look at you. Ah, that guy is crazy. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't eaten for a long time. And for five years, you will see nothing. But after five years, by miracle, you know, you will see with your naked eyes, literally, that it's growing by the hour. You know? Because most of bamboo tree, based on studies, is that the first five years, it will grow roots down. There's already enough and strong, there's a time it will come up. So sometimes you may be that most of bamboo tree. Maybe you have been an assistant supervisor, supervisor, uh, assistant manager for a long time. But don't worry, your time will come. And this is the perfect time because India is, has been growing by lips and bounds. Congratulations, you're now number five in the world. <laughs> come on. You see? You see? It's a time now to do it seriously. Why will someone like me travel from thousands of miles away to be here in India if I don't know that there's growth in India? You know, this is now my second home. I love to be here. I feel comfortable. I can eat your food. I speak a few words, no? Like Chapar Parke. <laughs> you know, when I come to India, I feel so, you know, welcome. I feel like more famous than Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> You know, people line up, they sign up photographs, pictures. That's why I love India. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so never ever quit. That's one. I had a downline who was an assistant manager also for eight years also. In the Philippines, went to Hong Kong, worked with a British expat as a house help. And a British finally finished his contract in Hong Kong, went back to UK. So she was given a choice, you either come with us, to work with us in UK or you go back home to the Philippines. Of course, she chose UK. And she, she said, she was praying, said, Lord, God, please give me a sign that I will do forever because I'm tired of being an assistant manager for eight years. <coughs> Just give me a sign that I will continue. Otherwise, I give this up, but I'll continue to use the products. That was April of 2010. A few days after, uh, no, when he arrived in UK, he was praying for a sign for him to continue. And when uh, he opened his window, her window where they live, it's in Fulham in central London, he saw the big sign of forever living in front. And it's the office in Fulham. You know? That's a sign for her. And uh, one week after, she received a call from the diamond. Because I was trying to trace my downlines in London, because in April we were in London. We were celebrating our 25th year wedding anniversary, me and my wife. I brought my wife to London with my four lovely children. And I realized after a week 
that it is, uh, well, maybe uh, just like India, one of the most expensive places in the world. Because in the train, you will spend at least, I was spending at least 1,000 rupees a day. You know, we ate in a, in a small cafe, some croissants, you know, bread and coffee. I ended up like, I wanted to eat the cup because the cost is 5,000. <laughs> you know, very expensive. So I told my wife, no, it's not a good idea for us to enjoy only. All money should not go out, we should collect some money. So how do we do it? Let's do forever here. So I started to trace and I found her name. I said, uh, this lady is my downline. So I called her. I said, we should meet. And she said, no, I don't think I can make it upline because I'm an assistant manager. And I'm just a Filipino. I said, you just believe in yourself. We will guide you. That was April, May, June. By July, they became the first Filipino managers in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Six months after, she developed a downline manager. It's not because of me. It's because they never gave up. So never ever quit. Never ever quit. Okay, next. Take action. Say that with me. Take action. Take action. Louder. Say that again. Take action. Take action. Say that again. Take action. Take action. The back. Action. Tell the person beside you. Take action. Take action. Louder. Take action. Take action. Yes. Take action. What? Use the products. Be a product of the product. Now. I want to ask people in this room today, especially those who have been in forever for quite some time. How many of you are users of forever living products? Show me hands. Well, the first timers, it's okay if you're just here for the first time, but the, those, oh, so most of you have been using. What are you using? Aloe vera gel? Yes. Or aloe lips? Yes. Huh? <laughs> Lip balm? <laughs> Use the products, be a product of the product. That is one thing. You want to be successful, be a product of the product. I was one of the meetings of a diamond in, in Europe, and he says, if you want to be considered as a user of the product, you should at least have 14 products in your home that you use. So I have an assignment for all of you when you go home. Try to make a, uh, you know, an accounting of how many products you use in your house. If you're using less than 14, then you cannot be a diamond. He's a diamond. You know, says he's using 14. I'm, I'm using more than 14. You know, you should at least use 40. Be a product of the product. People will only believe you that products work if you look like you're using the product. You should be a product of the product. If you tell them that you look 10 years younger, then look at yourself, you look 10 years younger. Look at yourself that you don't have so many eye bugs. You know, you look at yourself that you are not that fit because you're not using it. You have to be a product of the product. And the reason why people believe that product work is because it works on me. You know? Do I look younger? Yes. Of course. All right. So use the products and be a product of the product. Then learn fast by attending seminars and trainings as often as possible. Listen, this is back to basics. You want to be successful, you want to feel good about life, then you have to learn fast. Do not always rely on your upline. Your upline is not your hero. He's not Superman. He's not Jackie Chan. <laughs> you know? Everyone here are equal. So you have to learn fast, you have to be independent, fast. Because the faster you learn, the faster you earn. Remember what I said a while ago, if you were listening. Motivation should come from within. Inspiration should come from me, maybe come from people you're inspired with, maybe with Simon or other, or Sunil Gupta. But, you know, motivation should come from within. And it is important, ladies and gentlemen, for you to learn fast, motivate yourself, and then go out and find as many people as possible. Sponsor them, sign them up, tell them about the products. Be crazy about forever. Be crazy about aloe vera. Anyone you see, imagine the combo pack in the forehead. Or imagine the aloe vera gel. When he smile, combo pack. You know? <laughs> imagine the combo. Be crazy about it. And there will come a point in time when your friends will stay away from you. And they will say, ah, that guy, that Sushil, let's not talk to him because he talks about aloe vera all the time. <laughs> no, they will stay away from you. Huh? It's okay. That's your life. But you, and when you attend seminars, here in India, I know you do seminars six days a week, correct? Yes. Is that correct? Six days a week, how many times in a day? Seminars, once, three. That's unimaginable. In, in some countries, in Europe, in America, once a week, maybe once every two weeks, in Australia, once every two weeks. Here, three times a day, you should be blessed. Oh, you're a blessed, you're a privileged country. <laughs> Rounds of applause for India, three times. How can you not earn one lakh to three lakh rupees when you have seven a day? And that is even for free. 
Did you know that when you do sem when you attend seminars in London, you need to pay every single time you attend? Did you know that? You need to pay at least five pounds. And that is about 350 rupees every time you attend. I don't know if you'll still do forever if it's like that here in India. And this is for free three times a day. How can you not be successful? Come on, wake up. Take down notes. Say it to me. Take down notes. Take down notes means writing. Take, tell the person beside you, take down notes. There. Take action, massively invite and sponsor people without let up. Okay, what's the meaning of this? Plain and simple. People ask me, what is the secret of forever? What is the secret of a diamond? I will tell you now. You want to know my secret? Yes. I don't have a secret. Because in the business, you, do not, you should not have a secret. You have to tell your downlines what you're doing. Otherwise, you can't be duplicated. Otherwise, they will rely on you all the time. Let's wait for the diamond. And the diamond is not there, let's not do the business. He's the only one who knows it. No. No. The secret to forever is plain and simple. I will tell you. You have to massively invite and sponsor people without let up. What is massive? Non-stop. You know? Why can you not be excited about <laughs> India when you are the second most populated country in the world? This massive is very easy because anywhere you look at there are Indians. You go to the train station from Burivli to Churchgate. You know, I memorize all the station because I have been here since the year 2000. And you will see a lot of people, 5,000 seating capacity at any given time, 15,000. And if you want to take the, you know, the train, you have to be athletic. When I started, you know, I have to be ready because it's, uh, you know, and they're coming out. Can you imagine what I'm saying? Because that's my experience. I was shocked. I said, ah, this is how it is. Okay, be ready. <laughs> so when the train stops, everybody comes out and I go inside. <laughs> and there's free massage because it's <laughs> you know? And I see <laughs> I see this is live. I love this. Everywhere you look, Indians, left, right, down, up, Indian. So Prospects, if not prospects, suspect. You know, <laughs> and when you're about to go down, you should be ready. You should be there outside, right? Otherwise, you can never go down. You know, you have to be ready, and you should be like, a <laughs> oh, God. I had a friend, a Filipino, who was with me. We were ten. Came here in the year 2000, and uh, he was a little effeminate, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> he was always scared when we were about to ride the train because we used to live in Berivli West. Yeah, with the courtesy of Wil my good friend Wilbin. I was staying in his flat. And uh, every time we come, during the time our office was in Anderi. You know, Anderi. Uh, it was in uh, uh, Valletta Chambers. Yeah. So we have to get down in Anderi. <laughs> but uh, this guy, this questionable guy that I'm with, you know, he will end up getting down in Churchgate. <laughs> Because every time he will attempt to go, he cannot go with us because, you know, he's very weak. <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> so, when he attempts to go out, <laughs> he will say that. And then, when the church is there, the last stop, he will just go down and, uh, you know, give flyers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then go to Andai. <laughs> Massively invite people, believe me, as an Indian. I tell you, you don't need to have a magic or a secret. Just bring people. You know why? I will tell you. They don't need you to teach them. Why am I saying this? Because you just need to find your eagle. You cannot teach a person to become a diamond. I cannot teach you how to become a diamond. Because there's only one Edmund Ramos. There can never be two Edmunds. If I can teach you how to be a diamond, then there will be a lot of Edmund Ramos. You know what I mean? Yes. Each and every one is unique. What you need to find, why I'm telling you to find massively invite people, is to find your eagle. And what is the good news? Eagles are rare. Even if you have most number of people, there are very few eagles in the world. Why? Because eagles are rare. Even if you talk about birds. While most of the birds will find, you know, uh, they, they, they will find uh, where they can hide, you know, when there were, when, whenever there is a strong storm, 
no? Shelter, find shelter. Eagles will fly above the storm. That's why they're rare, you know? Yes. They are rare and that is the reason why there is no Kentucky Fried Eagle. You know what I'm saying? So, you do not develop an eagle, you find them. How can you find them? Massively invite people. Just keep on bringing and people come and go. Who are here for the first time? Show me hands. Again, show me hands. Those who are here for the first time, not only. A few hours, a few minutes ago, there were a lot of those first time. Now, very few. You're <laughs> tired already. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, the secret of forever is never ever stop inviting people. I started also, one of those who started FLP in Dubai, okay? The year 2000, just like India. I invited people for the next seven years, 2000 to 2007. I was able to develop eagles. They're all either chicken or turkey. No? People are proud who think they know everything, but they know nothing. But I never stopped. I found my eagle in 2007. I just found him, you know? When I left him, he was self-motivated. Eagles are self-motivated, which means they don't always wait for their upline, that they will not come if the upline is not there. Well, it's good for an upline to support the downline, in the sense that to guide him initially. But eagles are self-motivated. Eagles have stronger sense of urgency to do forever. They have more reasons to do forever. And you can just leave them alone and they can fly alone. That's what I discovered in forever. You find them, you don't teach them. So massively invite people, not a problem in India because there's a lot of Indians. Did you know that if you jump up all together, there will be huge earthquake around the world. Okay, take action. Talk to five to 10 people a day, exchange calling cards. Again, not a problem in India. Uh, 5 to 10, maybe 50 to 100. <laughs> but easily 5 to 10 people a day. Like, I have a question for all of you. Don't need to answer me at the back of your head. Like, how many people do you talk to every day about forever? Now, I don't see any challenge for Indians because in my experience while I, I've been coming here all the time, uh, Indians are very, uh, you know, uh, they are confident. They can easily talk to strangers. You know what I mean? In a restaurant, you sit down, you can easily talk to people uh, on the other table. In the Philippines, not so much. Now we are known to be timid. Not timid. We wait for people to say hello to us before we say hello. No, but Indians very friendly. So very easy. Now, question is, are you talking about forever? Or you're just talking about cricket? You know? So you need to talk to five to ten people a day. Do something different. You follow me? Okay, that's how you would say, take action. And then, of course, do home parties. I don't know if it's common here in India, but home party is not about eating chapati, romani roti, or uh, drinking chai. No? Home party is home demonstration. <coughs> no? Home demo. Home demo. Do home demo three to five times a week. Now, I don't know if it works here. Some people say it doesn't work, but there's no harm in trying. Just like go to a flat, maybe in a society, tell them, uh, gather people, you know, gather people, maybe two, three people, uh, four people among women, then uh, make a presentation of the Allo Fleur de Jovance. You know what Allo Fleur de Jovance is? It's an all natural facial. I even give it a nicer name like uh, all natural facelift. And the uh, magic word is free. Now, when you say free, people will come. <laughs> if you say they will pay, they will not come. Okay? Now, what is worse is when you invite them for free, they will even, they are even skeptical. No, they think, no, I don't think it will work. For skeptical people, do only one half facial. <laughs> you know, and naturally, the other one will lighten up nice, the other one not. So when he sees that, ah, this is very nice. So how about the other one? Uh, now you will pay, otherwise you go home. <laughs> huh? One half nice, <laughs> the other one not. You know? <laughs> there are a lot of things that you can do, especially when you tell them that, you know, this is for free. Come. But you don't need to do a full facial. Just do the nose, you know? And choose the smaller nose. So that you'll have a lot of, you know? Three, four, five. No, to me that's very effective even among men for the home demo. You know why? Because what you do is do that, no? and then put that, uh, the end paper, you know what the end paper is? The thin one? You do that? Do you do that here? 
Yeah, what do you call that? Butter paper. The one you put the butter? Huh? <laughs> when you eat with the butter, when the butter is finished, just clean it and they use it also. Huh? <laughs> just like in Dubai, I tell them use the shawarma paper. Shawarma is very thin also. After eating shawarma, don't throw away. Use the shawarma paper here. Okay, now listen. When you put that butter paper here, you know, with more reasons, they will sit down and listen to you for 30 minutes because they cannot live with that here. <laughs> you tell them you cannot live here, you will look very funny. The people will laugh at you. You stay there. And they will, oh, it's already finished. No, not yet finished. So you finish your demonstration about the Arctic Sea, the aloe vera gel. Ah, smart? Huh? No, thank you because they will look funny with that one. No? So you just have to wait there. Otherwise, uh, after that, you will like what you see. And true enough, after you have shown them a marketing plan, maybe the checks, may, maybe they'll be excited. Maybe not. But at least you've done it. You follow me? Yes. Okay. Uh, dress for success. Now, this is very important to me. You want to be successful, then you should look like uh, one. Dude, you should look like uh, someone who is successful. You follow me? Yes. You have to dress for success. What is dressing for success? Look, you belong to a billion dollar company like Forever Living. Therefore, you should look like you belong to a billion dollar company. You should look good, you should feel good, and you should smell good. <laughs> you know? It's very important because when you tell them that you will look good when you do forever and you have not taken a bath yet, then they will not believe that you will look good. You know what I mean? And uh, if you say that you do take forever and you will feel good, but you look so tired, you know, and you feel slim, you know, forever. It's a billion dollar company, you do forever. Very nice, they become people are happy, look at me, I'm very happy. You know, they will not believe you, you know? They won't believe you. So dress for success also means you have to dress well. You know, you belong to a billion dollar company, it need not necessarily be expensive, but you just have to dress well. Dress like a business person. You know what I mean? Dress like a business person. Uh, for women, of course, uh, dress uh, something that is like you're working in an office. Okay, for gentlemen, it would do well if you use a, if you wear a suit. No, they'll believe you. If you're not yet a manager, then act like a manager. Fake it till you make. It. You know, <laughs> that's how they say it. Dress for success, and then be equipped. I will talk about be equipped. Equipped means, I like if you go to war, you need to have arms. You need to have bullets. You know, you just go and attend and tell people that. Uh, you know, AFLP is the greatest opportunity in the world, and he becomes excited, and he wants to sign up, and you don't have an application form. That is very sad. He goes home, the neighbor has application form, ends up signing up with the neighbor. You will kill yourself. <laughs> All right. Next is analyze results. Analyze results simply means this is now what you do. It's not about excitement. It's not about continuous work. It's not about... It's about analyzing so how many case questions you make in a day. You don't need to answer me. It's about time now for you to have a reality check. How is your business right now? So how many case questions you make in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year? With your effort in forever, what is your retail income in a day, week, month, or year? Maybe you don't even have a retail income. And then maybe what is your monthly volume bonus check? Are you happy with your monthly FLP income? Show me the hands of people who are happy with their monthly income. Show me hands. One, two, <laughs> just the manager. <laughs> so no fixed income yet, monthly, no? You're not happy? Did you achieve your goal? And if you don't get the desired result, let me go back. Analyze result simply means in forever you're just by result. <coughs> in other words, if you have activities that doesn't have case credits, stay away from this. You have to have case credits. If you can produce case credits every single day, that's awesome. That's wonderful. There has to be case credits. You know, when you're just starting forever, when you're leveling up to from assistant supervisor, supervisor, assistant manager to manager, then you need to have activities that will produce case credits. Which means that you have your gauge of case credits is your monthly income, your retail income. No, retail income is you get it immediately when you sell when you buy at wholesale and sell at retail. But your volume bonus check depends on your, you know, networking, business building. So, if the effort that you do doesn't produce your desired result, listen, the fourth 
is make adjustments. This is where people get stuck up. They don't make adjustments. People work so hard and forever, they get burned up, burned out because they, they become assistant supervisor for a long time. You just clap and clap and clap sometimes. Uh, yeah, go ahead, clap. <laughs> sometimes, in the beginning, it's exciting to clap your hands, but uh, pretty soon you would love people to clap for you. No, you cannot be forever clappers. You know what I mean? So you need to believe in yourself and you need to level up so that one day, you can imagine that, that Mr. Edmond, he's up there on the stage. One day, I will also climb up there and be and inspire people in India. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yes. So, yeah, go ahead. Thank you for the huge round of applause. Thank you. Okay. Make adjustments. Do something that you've never done before. If you don't get the desired result, then do something that you've never done before. Because if you continue to do whatever you're doing, you will still get the same result. You know? So, do something you've never done before. What is the example? If you are a late riser, if you, if you uh, sleep late, uh, you wake up late, then you wake up early. Do something different. You know what I mean? Be an unconformist. Now, if you wake up early, you invite people, you, in, you bring them to the meetings, and you don't produce result, then maybe change your strategy. Wake up late. No, if you wake up early, you're not able to find your eagle, then try something different. Sleep longer and wake up late. Maybe the people that you bring when it's too early, they are tired, no? lethargic, sleepy, no? like some of you. Not you, the person beside you. Okay? <laughs> so maybe when you wake up late, these people are already awake. They have already taken their chai, no? ate their food, chapati, or harabara kebab. <laughs> Indian, huh? <laughs> Increase your activity rate. What does this mean? It only means you have to increase your acti FLP activity. You have to do, when you want to level up to the next level, anything that you do should be related to case credits. Believe me, it's okay if people think you're crazy. It's okay if you're crazy if you're making 3 lakh rupees a month. You get me? Who wants to be crazy but making 3 lakhs a month? Show me hands. Of course, it's okay. Uh, so increase your activity, do something that will produce case credits, and of course be excited. Are you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. I don't see the muscles in your face that you're excited. <laughs> Some of you said, yes, you feel tired. <laughs> be excited because, you know, excitement will magnetize people. It will attract people. When you're excited, you now people will get involved. You know, there's some kind of magnet. You know what I mean? So be excited. Be excited about your future in forever. Invite more people. That's what you call massively invite. Now, make adjustment simply means how many people do you invite in each meeting? Three, four, five. You can even invite one every week. So do something for me. With your activities, just set a goal to double it. I, I do not require you to know more about product demo, about marketing plan. Just plain and simple invite. Because there's a lot of speakers in India. You know what I mean? Just increase the number of people that you invite. Try to have a look at your business. If you have been, if you have not inviting people, then your goal is invite one. If you have been inviting people all the time, one, then make it two. If you invite three, make it six. Just double it. You follow me? Okay. It's very easy to invite here, you know, many people. Learn the uses and application of one product every day. Now, this is something I'd like to share with you. To be a diamond, you don't need to know all the products technically. You ask me about the products, I'll always refer you to someone who knows the product. Did you know that as a diamond, I, I don't know a lot of things, technical things about how aloe vera gel works, about anthracinones. It's even very difficult to explain, to, to spell. That is what is wrong with most people. You know, you don't need to have a cognitive understanding of something to make it work. I will tell you, very, an example. Any electrical or communications engineer here in this room? Show me hands. Electrical or communications engineer? Anyone? Expert in electricity. Anyone? Expert. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Can anyone in this room, I know a lot, well, Indians are uh, highly intellectual. Can anyone in this room explain to me in details, technically, how 
this electric light will turn on or light up. Technically, how the current will flow, the positive, negative, the amount of uh, wattage. Can anyone? Technically. Because I will congratulate you if you can do that. But how many in this room today knows how to switch on the light and the light will be there? Show me hands. Huh? Show me, show me, show me. Not all of you? You don't know how to switch on the light? Come on, people. See, in forever, the reason why many don't succeed, I will tell you. They try to analyze why the marketing plan works. They try, they try to understand why Simon Davidson is making so much money. The company does not make money anymore. You know, they end up from analyzing, they analyze, analyze, and they get paralyzed. <laughs> Which means you just have to do it. It has been there for 34 years. You don't need to understand how the light operates. You just have to turn it on and it will light up. You ask me about aloe vera. I can, uh, all I can tell you is I've been drinking aloe vera for 20 years and I have full of energy. 35 years younger or 20 years younger. And I'm the product of the product. You know? I'm the product of aloe vera. In my arteries, it's no longer blood that flows, but aloe vera. Plain and simple. So in forever, you know, when I say learn, use an application of products, layman's language. Don't be technical. Like aloe vera, you tell them it's for detoxification, it will cleanse your system. It's for bubble movement, normal bubble movement. What is Arctic C? Well, it's for heart health. It's also for, it also helps in a digestive process. It's also for the brain. Royal jelly, well, royal jelly is for also, uh, uh, for memory lapses. If people are forgetful, then I recommend royal jelly. It will uh, delay the aging process. This is what people want to hear. Delay the aging process, and uh, it will help in people who have memory lapses, forgetful. So uh, royal jelly is an excellent gift for people who owe you money. <laughs> so when you give them, they will remember and they will pay you. Huh? <laughs> okay. So learn use an application of one product every day, which means when you invite people, they don't come. Make it a learning day and learn product each one product each day. Can you imagine if you learn one product each day? By 30 days, you would have learned 30 products. Okay, repackage yourself, change image. I told you a while ago, if what you're doing doesn't work, then do something different. Okay, one of the things is uh, repackage yourself. What is the meaning of repackaging yourself? Well, maybe you're not able to invite people because they see you as someone who's not excited. They see you as someone who's a loser, who look like a loser. So change the way you dress, you know? Maybe change your hair, make it blue, violet. People will say, oh, oh what happened to you? You look <laughs> like you're from another planet. <laughs> but at least you'll be recognized. You know what I mean? Do something different. Do something, you know, out of this world. Repackage yourself. When they see you, you're not dressed well, then maybe dress very well. They see you not, uh, you know, you have a very long hair, then cut your hair. Because you don't get the result that you want, do something different. Come on, when you're someone who doesn't smile or laugh at all, then smile, begin to smile, laugh. You know, if you laugh out loud, then make it, uh, no, don't laugh out loud. You know, when you smile like this, you smile like this. Huh? <laughs> Change, repackage. <laughs> Change image. And then of course, be more friendly and smile often. I learned this when I did forever, to be more friendly. If you're friendly, you know, you will, uh, you will not only have downlines, but you'll have a lot of friends all over the world. Can you imagine someone like me who lives in a little village in the Philippines now, I have so many friends around the world. I will give you a tip where you can be in touch with me every month as I go along. Where you'll be, you'll have the chance to listen to successful people around the world. And of course, making adjustments simply means learn to present the marketing plan in a piece of paper. This is what I mean, pure and simple. In this changing of times, you know, during this, cha this uh, change of time, when we started forever, laptops were not popular yet. Uh, especially the, you know, the Mac, the iPad, 
the phones, you know, the, the, this high-tech phone. We became successful. Did you know that I became, me and my became a diamond manager without PowerPoint presentations? We did FLP best presentation in one piece of paper. You give me a piece of paper and I can present to you the business in 30 minutes. If you have 15 minutes, I can finish in 15 minutes. And after, after I am done with the presentation, I give my prospect this paper for him to go and study when he goes home. Because sometimes they get too excited, they go home, I just found a business, very what's this business? I, don't, I think it's, it's uh, you know, living, living, I don't know, I don't remember, no? But how do you join? Oh, but it's really good, I just don't remember. You know, but if you give the piece of paper, you will know the things to do. I write down, first, what I do is the basics. They get excited, the things to do. Sign up in the application form. So when they ask you, what are you going to do? I sign up in the application form. And what's next? Change brand. Change brand and use the products. Be a product of the product. If you use shampoo, conditioning, rinse, well, toothpaste, uh, buying from the store, buy from forever. Change brand. Use the products. Okay? Either buy minimum of 750 or uh, invest in a business box which is about 18,000 uh, pesos uh, your rupees I get mixed up now because I keep on traveling you know different currencies anyway so the next step is after you have signed up use the third is invite people if they don't want to come force them to come you know invite and sponsor top three what do you do sign up use sponsor and then I draw the marketing plan new distributor 15% I will show you in a while. No until manager. What are the features? You know, group sales, two months accumulation, no reversion, no demotion, no pass up. Incentives, free travel abroad. Manager, one lakh to five lakhs rupees. You know, travels, two travels every year. First year in 2013, Sardinia, Italy, and the second one is Hawaii. Right? Profit sharing from one lakh to one crore rupees. Last is, uh, my last is uh, the inheritance income. Kalas! Done! You know? <laughs> Some of you will understand what class is. <laughs> you know, it's done, it's finished. After that, you want to know more? Go to the website, www.discoverforever.com and you will answer the frequently asked questions. We will answer the frequently asked questions. If you have some questions, this is my email address and this is my mobile number. Done. 15 minutes. If they make a decision, that's the time you sit down and do the details. See? This is the secret of forever. One piece of paper. Be the change that you want to be and discover the new you. You want to have a new result, then start from yourself. Did you learn something today? Did you learn something today? Yes. Okay, you want more? Yes. You want more? Who wants more? Okay, let's continue. Now, I talk about the new assistant supervisor's orientation. Who are new assistant supervisors here? Assi who are assistant supervisors, even old? Assistant supervisor, show me hands. All the new assistant supervisor, show me hands, please. Okay. Now, among the assistant supervisors, who wants to be manager? Stand up. Stand up. Who wants to be managers? Those assistant supervisors, show me. I want to see those who want to be managers. Because these are for people who want to move out to be managers. Okay. Some are tired of standing up already. Okay. Okay, you can sit down now. Thank you. Okay. Now, if you will see this new assistant supervisor, uh, it's an orientation. It's your first 30 days in forever. If you are an old uh, assistant supervisor, then start afresh. It's like imagine yourself starting only now. Because it's only now that you realize that this is pure and simple, done by the diamond. Okay? This is the first 30 days, and this is what you're supposed to teach your downline. Okay? Now, why is it that the visuals is like of a small infant. It's because when you're an assistant supervisor, we consider you as infants in the business. You don't know anything. Like infants, you need to be fed with milk, you know. Uh, someone has to change the diaper. In forever when you're starting, your upline is supposed to teach you the basics on what to do. And this is exactly what you need to do. Okay. Assistant supervisor, this is what you need to understand. A distributor who accumulates two case credits within two calendar months will we we'll move up from new distributor to assistant supervisors. Now, why is it important to be an assistant supervisor? Because you will enjoy 30% discount plus 5%, or in other countries, they, they, they see this as 43%. If you will make uh, the, the net, the basis, but it's still the same, 43 and 30%. Okay? It, this is easier explained, you know? 30 plus 5, 5% uh, 5 cashback or rebate. Now, 
The good news about being an assistant supervisor is that you will have bigger, uh, you can build your organization and you will have bigger uh, override rather than a new distributor who just enjoys the 15%. It makes a lot of sense for me to invest in 2CC because your time is precious and uh, when you're an assistant supervisor, you will make more money when you're starting. So do not like, you know, do not just like, I just want to start with 750 because what you'll be enjoying is only 15%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Now here is the marketing plan of forever. Complete picture. When you sign up in the form, you only enjoy the 15%. Sign up. Uh, here, uh, you, you cannot do it online yet, no? In, in India. In other countries, you, can't do, you cannot sign up online. But in other countries like the Philippines and 17 other countries, you can sign up online. But here, sign up in the form and you enjoy 15%. And to enjoy 15%, of course, you buy the products, invest in the products. Now, assistant see the big difference. Assistant supervisor, 15%. When you're an assistant supervisor, right after investment of, why did, did this, this did not change? Uh, this was supposed to be 750. This is 750 minimum. <laughs> Congrats. This is 750. And uh, business pack is supposed to be uh, 17,000 something no 17 how much can you tell me 18,000 yeah to, just to be no, you know, uh, just to round, round up it's uh, 750 minimum don't just invest in 750 find a way you know if FLP is important to you you want to level up then invest in 18,000 18,000 one time big time like put up a business in in Bombay or Mumbai you can't even put up a decent business like the Indian burger with uh, five black rupees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you are investing in a multi-billion dollar company that you will have a chance to do this worldwide where Indians are everywhere like Filipinos and you invest only 18,000 uh, rupees. You follow me? Yes. Makes a lot of sense to me. If you don't have the money, then use your credit card. No credit card, debit card. No debit card, borrow money. But you pay, <laughs> no? If you're a student, who are students here? Show me hands of students. Those are still in the university. Show me hands. Come on, the hope of the future, youth. Okay, I'll tell you something. One thing that you can do also, advance your allowance from your parents for three years. You know, <laughs> mom, I'd like to advance my allowance for three years. What are you going to do? I'll buy a combo pack. <laughs> I will pay you. <laughs> I had a down on 18 years old, you know, 18 years old back in the Philippines. Uh, she was studying in the University of the Philippines, the State University, University of the Philippines. She was 18 years old and she borrowed money from her mom. The, her mom did not give her. It was her godmother who gave her, who, who lent her the money at 18. By the time he reached, she reached the age of 19, she became the youngest manager in the Philippines and she started earning one lakh rupees every month. You know? And uh, instead of paying for one year, the godmother, she paid after two months, retailing. You know what I mean? Okay? So, this is the key. Invite and sponsor people. I don't care if you know less about forever, just invite people. They don't come, force them to come. When they come, we lock the door. <laughs> okay? Change brand. Tell people just change brand because when you buy in the market, you know, there's no case credits there. And uh, our products are of quality and it's really good. Now use and share the products, tell as many people as possible that products are good, just like how you tell people how your Indian burger tastes, you know? And people will buy, but you don't have a commission when they buy, All right? So tell people how good our food supplements are, how our tooth gel are, is, our, our shampoo, and then start with, yeah, that's what I said. Now, when you become a seasoned supervisor, you can now invite people like crazy because that's how you build your network. Now, what's the formula to success? Mindset plus action equals Success. So what's the meaning of that? What is the right mindset? Okay, I'll go back. That's right. Mindset plus action equals success. So let me explain that further. Right mindset simply means start to have a dream board, dream building. Write down your dreams. You have to write it down so that you will constantly be reminded about it. Have a dream board. You know, when we were just starting, we have a dream board on all our walls. When I go and visit my throne in the toilet, there's also there, right there. <laughs> No, I'm reminded of my goal. When we, you know, when we uh, go to bed in the ceiling, there's our reminder also. You know, we are open reminded. Write down your dreams, make a dream board, practice visualization. Practice visualization, like practice uh, going up the stage, imagine yourself as a manager. 
You know, you close your eyes. Imagine yourself climbing out the manager and Mr. Rexman is here to pin that, uh, the pin, the diamond pin. And it's okay if you look crazy smiling while you're closing your eyes. You're imagining like thousands of people applauding like you're receiving your, your pin. That's, what, that's the secret of one of uh, uh, the most notable figures in the world uh, in the field of bodybuilding, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a seven-time Mr. Universe. He holds the, the distinction of having an almost perfect physique, which means muscles in the right places. Because he says that one of his secrets is that after his regimen, the exercise, lifting weights, he will go to one corner, close his eyes, and imagine himself being recognized as Mr. Universe. You know? So you can do that. You know? Imagine yourselves becoming a manager, or maybe a diamond manager, maybe the first diamond manager in India. You know? Visualization. Okay, right mindset also means attitude. You must have a good learning attitude, which means you have to take down notes, make a commitment, don't just be interested, be focused, be focused forever, drop everything that will slow you down and be focused with forever. Case credits, downline, prospects, you know, Bandra. All you know is Bandra home, Bandra office, Bandra your office, and Bandra office in FLP. Okay? Decide you want success. I said, don't find a reason to fail. And remember what Henry Ford said, the, the owner of uh, Ford, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So if you think you'll be an assistant supervisor the rest of your life, congratulations. You'll be an assistant supervisor. So believe that you'll be a manager. Believe that you'll be a diamond manager. You follow me? Yes. Okay. All right. Right mindset. Goal setting. You have to set your goals. You have to have a direction forever. It's not about excitement. You have to ask the support of your upline to teach you how to set your goals. Now, when you're an uh, assistant supervisor, set a goal to be a supervisor. Supervisor, set a goal to be assistant manager. Assistant manager, set a goal to be a manager. Well, some of us are too excited when we say, uh, who wants to be a diamond? And most people will say, I want to be a diamond. And you're, you're only a new distributor. No, start, be realistic. Be realistic with your goals. You can become a diamond, but it entails a lot of hard work, you know, dedication. Focus, determination. So set a goal, and then goal should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. And plan of action, there's the time you ask the help and guide of your upline. If your upline is always absent, then come to the meetings, come to the seminars, because people will teach you, or leaders will teach you how to set your goals. And then, of course, this is what I was talking about to be equipped, okay, in the back to basics. Be prepared. So an example is that a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout, you know, is uh, their, their motto is be prepared. Okay? Now, it only means be equipped. What must you have when you make a decision to make big money in forever? Who wants to make big money in forever? Big money. You know, because b you need to, ha there are two types of money in forever. Small money and big money. If you want small money, you can go home now. No, but if you want big money, you stay so that you learn. Now, if you want to have big money, you have to project an image of someone who is a businessman or business person, which means that you have to be well equipped. FLP carrying bag or backpack. You know, normally you carry a backpack or a carrying bag. Like uh, if you carry this, you come and meet people and you have a card. You think people will believe that you're a businessman? Yes. Of course. Because if you pr represent forever and you say you're a businessman and you're carrying a plastic bag, you know, plastic bag, then maybe they will have uh, second thoughts of saying that you're a businessman. So invest, the, you know, bags are very cheap here in India. I buy my bags here, you know, or a backpack. In New York, if you go to New York, executives or top people in the business in New York, in Manhattan, you know, they have backpacks, even their wearing suits. You know what I mean? So a backpack where you put all your stuff there for forever. And then clear book, clear book, this is as a replacement of laptops that is very hard to duplicate. Who, who has a clear book here? Can anyone show me a clear book? Anyone? Clear book is when you show the products, the marketing plan in uh, anyone. So nobody, yeah, please. Please show me. Can you pass it? Okay, this is an example of a clear book. Clear book tells you about the company, okay? Yeah, you have the product brochure and then uh, it will somehow paint a picture of what co what company present offices all over the world see to project a company that's very strong and stable 
you know? So the, the owner of Forever, the growth of our company, our managing director here, you know, our office, nice office in Bandra. And who are we? What are we? So we are telling people the background of the company. And I would presume there are some products here. Yeah, of course, product and uh, how much money you make. Uh, and uh, proof of people making money. Not Filipinos, but Indians. You know? So congratulations. Well done. Huge round of applause for this uh, incoming manager. What's your name? Ignatius. Ignatius? Yeah. Ignatius. Congratulations. The next manager. Okay. So, clear book. Then you need a mobile phone. Mobile phone need not be expensive. Mobile phone is important to get connected with your downline and upline. <laughs> you know, do not use this to just listen to music or play games. It's very important for you to have a mobile phone. And I know most of you, well, if not all of you have mobile phones. It's very important for you to adjust the changing of times. You know, you have to have a mobile phone to get connected, to know that there's a special meeting to be updated. You know, you need a mobile phone. And make sure when you have a mobile phone, there is a load. You know, when you load, no, you cannot ask your downline to give you a load when you say you belong to a billion dollar company. Right? You follow me? Okay, organizer and a presentable pen. Organizer is when you when you talk to people, they see you have an organizer. Can I can I have this? Okay. Uh, orga a very simple book like this is an organizer where you put your schedule, you know, your trainings, uh, where you put, uh, maybe you can also put the address or telephone number quickly when you talk to someone. So you will look like a professional if you have, a, you have an organizer, you know, rather than uh, tear a sheet of paper and uh, all worse is you borrow from your prospect a piece of paper. Because the diamond said I had to present the marketing plan in one piece of paper, I get your paper. No? Mm -hmm. You have to have a, an organizer, and then a nice pen, presentable pen. Uh, you buy a nice pen, not the one that has bite on the cover. No, you keep on biting, maybe put <laughs> sometimes, you know, maybe no ink. A presentable pen, and then of course calling card, visiting card, so that you can give cards, you know what I mean? Give nice cards. And uh, don't just tear a piece of paper and put your number and then call me. Brochures and price list. Brochures and price list also is something that you should uh, make ready when people ask you what kind of products you have. Uh, that can come in your clear book. And uh, it's not a good practice to always give brochures for free. No. Because you buy brochures here. How much is the brochure here? 20 rupees. Can you imagine giving 20 rupees worth of, of uh, brochures to 100 people? So you got bankrupt without even making money yet. So do not give free. No freebies. You pay for 20, they pay for 20. If they cannot pay for 20, how much more they can invest in Combo Pack? No. You know, that's their business. Make them understand. When you invite people, it's their business, not yours. They, you become business partners. You're giving them a favor. Now, company policy. Any one of you here have a copy of company policy? Show me hands. Company policy. When you sign up, you need to have a company policy, right? Anyone here who have uh, just saw the front page of the policy? Just the front page. Those who did not read, that just uh, saw the front page only of the policy. <laughs> you need to have a company policy because when people ask you, you should know how to answer. You know the basics of the company policy. What is a 2K script? How, do you, how to go to rallies? You know how to, what is a leadership bonus? What's royalty income? It's in the policy. You, get, you have to know this. And then few products for retail. Uh, this is also something important. You know, I'm not asking you to sell products. Just sharing the benefits of the product. But it's also good to carry some products that is not heavy. So that when people ask you, like for example, the only thing that I carry with me all the time as a diamond, what is in my pocket, aside from my credit cards and my money, of course, is my aloe lips. Yeah? Because I, I use this all the time. I can never leave the house without using this. You know? And this is uh, something that is very portable. You can put in your pocket because this one is rather very big to put in the pocket. You know? <laughs> when they ask for aloe vera, it becomes very big. You know? <laughs> so I carry this with me. And when I ride the plane from, for example, from Philippines to Dubai, eight hours and a half, I sit down in the middle of two strangers. And when the plane is already up there, I begin to talk to them. They do not have a choice because the plane is up there already. <laughs> they need to listen to me. 
right? And I showed them aloe lips. Where can I buy that? I have another one in the pocket. You see? <laughs> so very portable. But you guys, seriously, you need to bring some products like the deodorant, uh, the li aloe lips, uh, fast selling products. What else? Hand sanitizer. Yeah, wonderful product. Hand sanitizer. I have it in my bag all the time. So very easy to sell. Uh, do not be like the typical business uh, salesman bringing a lot of aloe vera. This fast selling also, but it's very heavy, you know? You look so good, but you walk like this. A uh, billion dollar company. I have products here, sample. Aloe vera. See, I'm very healthy. <laughs> and you're very tired already of carrying, huh? No, you are not salespeople, you know? You're not salesman here. You are business builders, you're executives, top executives of forever. So bring small products only. If they want the aloe vera gel, go to the center. Go to the office in Bandra and or have it delivered. But don't dress very well, change image and <laughs> I know some of you are doing that. <laughs> Not you, the person beside you. Writing pad. Writing pad so that you can write down on one page of paper, you know? Uh, you know what the good thing about India, that's why, that's why I love India? Everything is cheap, you know, except the house rental and uh, real estate. <laughs> but the food, you know, the, the, the books, many books here, huh? Even in the side street. Copy books. Writing pad and then uh, change image, as I, I mentioned a while ago, trust for success. Then, of course, you have to take action. Read and understand company policies and procedures. And then, of course, uh, make a prospect list. Uh, prospect list are those people that uh, you would want to invite. Maybe they're just users. Maybe they are just uh, they are, they are retailers. I don't know if you call this BOM. In other countries, it's OPP. But uh, in most countries, it's business opportunity meeting. Do you call this OPP or business opportunity meeting? BOPP. Uh, OK. Uh, attend BOPP. Product demo and new distributors orientation. This is new distributors orientation, actually, your first 30 days. Webinars and success day. What is webinar? This is what I'm talking about. If you want to get to hear the diamond every month, you will send an email to my email address. Because you may be one of those I will invite to listen to a webinar where I do trainings online. And uh, the people who will log in is is uh, our distributors all over the world who belong to my team, the Diamond Group. And you will get to listen to success stories and tips of successful people of Diamond Group where I lead from different countries on the web. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to be registered. Uh, we will just be choosing at random people who will be registered every month. But I need you to send your email address to my email address. And my email address is if you're interested to listen to webinars or trades I do online, my, my email address is diamond at myflpbs.com. Uh, my first webinar for 2013 is in, in January. Okay? And uh, you'll get a lot of uh, success. Get to listen to successful people. You'll get to listen to trainings on the web. That's the, that's the latest now. Uh, in uh, building your global network. Now, success day is, uh, you do success day here every month, right? Two months. Two months. Oh, every two months. Now, you need to bring people. If you have been attending success days, you bring new people because that we can also make them excited and have an open mind on the business. You follow me? Very important. Then massively invite people. I mentioned that a while ago without ceasing. Follow ABC rule. ABC rule is very plain and simple. Advisor bridge customer. When you are just starting, you are just a bridge. You follow me? Your advisor is your upline. And your C is your client or your uh, customer or your prospect. You as a bridge will just introduce the upline to the downline, to your prospect. You follow me? That's why you get to know the background of your upline or the people who are successful in the business. Okay? And then, of course, learn fast, be familiar with the FLP terminologies, learn how to fill up forms. This is very basic. Some people are uh, supervisors, they don't even know how to fill up uh, application forms, international how to uh, do international sponsoring, and all those stuff. Very basic. Learn how to fill up forms. Increase activity rate, I mentioned that a while ago. And uh, level up to supervisor in two months. I'm not saying uh, be a supervisor in one month. Two months, you know? 
12, 14, 14, 12, you know, 10, 15. If you want to make, be a supervisor in one month, then do one CC a day. On the 25th day, you are a supervisor. You know, set your goals on a daily basis. If your goal is to make, for example, a 15 CC, then you just need to set a goal for 0.5 CC a day. If you want to make 10 CC, then do 1 CC every 3 days. Doable or not? Is it doable or not? Yes. It's doable. Yeah. That's the end. And uh, the last but not the least is the diamond success tips. Right? Are you ready for this? Yes. Diamond success tips are very simple. You have to gain tons of knowledge from your mentor. I learned in my 20 years that it's not only about proven uh, company which is forever, proven product, the product that works, or the proven marketing plan. But I learned in 20 years that you, for you to become successful, you should find yourself a mentor. Mentor that you can duplicate, mentor who can coach you, and most, more often than not, your mentor is your upline. But it's okay if your mentor is not your upline. If he is uh, generous enough to mentor you, then fine. If you have a, an upline who is a mentor, then spend qual invest quality time with him. I still remember when I had my, uh, when I was starting, wherever my mentor is, I go with him. And that's the reason why I was here in the year 2000. One day my upline called me, Edmund, I need you to come to India. The only person to ask permission with is my wife. And when my wife said, okay, go, I came to India because I wanted to be with my mentor. It's not about the money that motivates me, it's about my mentor. I want to hit, pick his brain because I learned in the visa forever, you just have to be a good copier, duplicator, monkey see, monkey do. You know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to be highly intellectual. You don't have to have high IQ. In fact, if you're copying when you're in school, welcome to forever. <laughs> if you are not used to copying, then practice copying now. That's the fastest way to become successful. Gain tons of knowledge from your mentor. Visualize your goals daily. I mentioned that. Believe in your success story. Each of us has a success story to tell. Your time will come. Your, the, your time will come. It may be next year. It may be year after next. Look at the top 10 distributors in India right now. Different people. You know? They're not the same. Why? Because of maybe a sense of urgency. Everyone has a chance to be number one. Can... I see the hands of anyone here who believes that they can become number one in India. Show me hands. Anyone who believes that they can be number one. See, it's so easy. It, it has a lot of work to do. You've got to have a lot of work to do, but believe me, even if you start only now, regardless of your age, you can become number one. I will show you an example that in a legitimate network marketing company, it's not about who started it first. It's about your dedication and finding the right people. I will... Uh, let you know why. Work with the right people. Now, you have to be smart. What is profiling? Profiling simply means you give chance to everyone. But you have to prioritize MAN. What is MAN? People who have money. Money means at least 750. Okay, not, not so rich. A stands for authority. People as authority. He may not have the money, but just like me, I was a bank manager. If they do not buy the combo pack, I will not release the loan. That's what you call authority. You know what I mean? Huh? Okay. And then, of course, N is for need. 100% people in the world need our products. There's no one on the face of this earth who can claim this 100% healthy. Because of the food that we eat, because of the environment that we are in. So they will, always have, they will always have a need. So these are the people that you will look for. They may have the money, without authority, it's okay, at least 750, they can start their business. Definitely, they have a need. Some people have money, they have authority, they have the need, that's the first priority. In fact, it should come here first. And then some people don't have money, but they have authority. Like me, I used to be a manager, not so much money, but I can dictate, you know? Even my staff, you attend the seminar of my wife. Tomorrow, I'm grading your uh, merit increase in the bank. So attend my tra the training of my wife. No choice, no? Authority. And then, of course, need. Now, people doesn't have money, no authority, but has the need. Uh, if you're generous enough, maybe you can ask them to join, but you will end up, they will end up borrowing money from you. 
you know okay now out of these people we have what you call rob rob simply means you can identify them they are either retailers users retailer and user some people who just want to be with forever to use the products because people they they hear stories that products really work maybe they're very rich they don't need our business you know just like uh, I was uh, I was somewhere in uh, in Andheri West when I met this very rich person who owns a mining several mining companies and uh, he's very very rich so I don't need to tell him that you can earn lakh rupees he's making more money than me maybe no but the but the person was just interested in the product he said I want to lose weight give me a give me a product that will uh, help me lose weight so that's it I cannot tell him to be a networker with a diamond so just let him either if money is not a problem then lot, don't let him sign up sell at retail yeah, if he wants a discount sign up in the form 15% discount if he wants bigger then invest in a combo pack now listen if they are retailers let it be they just want to make small money don't force them to come to attend trainings just buy at wholesale sell at retail that's their happiness you know users Plain and simple, you just want to enjoy the products. You spend 20% of your time with these people. B is for business builders. <coughs> business builders are those people who want to make big money. Who wants to make big money? Show me hands. Okay, you want to make big money, find business builders. Sell the business opportunity, not the products, because the products will sell for itself. Sell the concept of doing FLP and having the chance to travel abroad for free twice a year. Sell the opportunity that when you become a manager you can pass on your position in the event of your death to any of your children you know that's what you call business building and that is where you can sell or invest tell people to invest in a combo pack now be prepared for change be prepared for change as Tony Robbins says it can I simply means continuous and never-ending improvement if you want to improve in something then do something different if you're not happy with your result do something different you follow me yes. okay and then of course focus on getting positive results not negative don't dwell on the negative like I hear stories we should have more branches here in India because we are over 1 billion people how can you waste so much time talking about branches when you just have to you know reach out to as many people as possible it is beyond you so you can never if you whine the whole day if you complain the whole day nothing will happen they will not open branches for you there's no more Garcinia no more Glen 9 I don't want to do forever anymore. It's not the company we lose, it's you. I will tell you something. Japan, who was for over 10 years number one country in the world, only have eight products. They only have eight products until now. But they are number two, uh, they are what, what? They are number two in the world. You know what I mean? So make do with whatever you have. If, there, if the challenge is something that you cannot be a solution, then don't waste your time talking about it. You talk for, to your downline, to your brothers, oh, there's no Arctic Sea, no Garcinia. What happens? Will there be Garcinia if you talk to other people? No. So just go out, be excited, be positive. You know? So there's no more Garcinia, therefore we can sell another product. Look for other products. And develop more eagles from your eagle. I, as I've said, you have to find your eagle. Pray for success in all your actions. You ask, believe, and receive. So these are the eight tips from the diamond. I hope you learned something from this. Reflect on this. Apply this if you love what you hear. And believe me, you will get different results. Now I'm here in Dubai. I'm sorry. I'm here in Mumbai. Sounds the same. Mumbai, Dubai. No? I'm here in Mumbai. And my goal next year is to develop the number one distributor in India. I am a developer of top one distributors, believe me. But you have to believe in yourself first before I do that. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something today. Yes. Are you really excited? Yes. Very excited. You'll see a lot of me. Maybe in January I'll come. Maybe in February I'll come. You have to sign up your friends, your relatives, because if you don't sign them up, Maybe I will sign them up, okay? <laughs> so don't sleep when you don't sign them up. And uh, trust me, there's going to be big happening in 2013. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for having me here. My name is Edmond Ramos. I'm a diamond manager, and I am forever.
Thank you very much.